Well, I think the regime obviously is very nervous. The EPP group's foreign policy spokesman, Mikhail Galler, on how Iran's leaders are under pressure again by massive public protests, this time over accidentally shooting down a Ukrainian jetliner, killing 176 people. The general attitude after the people found out that uh, there have been lies for three days about the, the real e events uh, with regard to the plane. Now the people uh, increasingly return again and uh, denounce the regime. Galler says this could present an opportunity for Iran to reapply the nuclear agreement it started to back away from. The European Parliament debated the latest Middle East developments during its latest plenary session. Given the uh, circumstances under which the n Ukrainian plane was shut down, I think the regime has all reason to uh, uh, try and impress the international community by returning to its application. It's in their interest also to uh, resume the application of the treaty. If not, then Iran could face new EU sanctions. If uh, they continue to uh, refuse, then we would have to reconsider that. On the call by Iraq's parliament for foreign troops to leave the country after the U.S. killing of an Iranian general there, Galler says those troops, including Europeans, need to stay. The fight against ISIS needs to be continued and the Iraqi army alone is not in a position to do it. I do not want to push the Iraqis further uh, towards Tehran. They should have uh, international partners to help them uh, establish a functioning state and that is what we are doing.